Creating animatable 3D characters does come with its own long list of requirements, from creating the 3D model itself, to UV, to shading, rigging, making sure that the weight paintings are proper, and it even becomes more complex when you have to create anime characters and also realistic ones. And today we're going to simply take a look at how you can do this with an amazing add-on that is available for Blender and you can get from point A to point Z with a couple of clicks. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at MB Lab, the brand new installment of their awesome looking tool, which is an add-on that you can use directly in Blender to create humanoid characters. Now, just in case you have no idea what this tool is it's a very very cool you know a must have add-on if you are a blender user the whole idea about this tool is to help you create humanoid characters rapidly really quick without spending so much time thinking about what and what you need to do or how you need to calculate for both rigging and also you know shading and all that beautiful stuff so without further ado we're going to dive directly into blender and what we're going to do is to take a look at the brand new installment actually if you go over to the website right now and you choose to download the version 1.7.8 which we're going to be working with you will notice that you would not be able to find it because the packages that they have available right here is 1.7.7 and also 1.6.5 so what I'll do is I'm going to put a link in the description to where you'll be able to find this most recent version, which is the 1.7.8, just in case you want to get it. So with that said, we're going to dive directly into Blender and take a look at how this works. So with Blender open, what you need to do to get things started is to go over to edit, go over to preference, and you can do all of the add-on things directly there. Now, once you do that, you can go through and press N on the keyboard and you would notice that you have the MB lab right here delete the cube and with the cube deleted with this right here what we can do is we can choose the kind of characters that we want so you have a whole lot of list of characters so ranging from male dwarves all the way to afro female and also anime characters so you can choose from you know a long list of characters that you have you know you can go through and choose from them so for this one we might simply start off with a caucasian male so i'm going to select the caucasian male just set my render to ev if this is what i want if i want it to have basic muscles i can choose to get that on if i want to get some inverse kinematics within the rigging we can also choose to do that if we want to set this to cycles we can simply do that as well if you need some extra lighting like maybe portrait studio light you can also set that and this is all you need to do and click on create character and this would create character for you automatically now the character that it's going to create would come with rigs lights you know all of those things properly set up you don't even need to paint weight as they will do that weight painting thing for you automatically so with this right here simply zoom right in let's pan around zoom right here you would notice that we have a character now you can choose to select this character go over to your sculpting room and you know make changes to this this is totally fine and up to you if you want to take a look at the shading of course you can stretch this all the way up select here go over to the shader editor select this object and you can see that the shading network has been set up properly for the rigging as well if you want to take a look at that just in case you're doubting the proficiency of what this rig looks like yep you can do that just simply select the amateur from here click on the object switch over to pose and from this part you can start making some changes so what i would do is just simply select any of this particular you know joint amateur stuff that you have right here yep you can select any of them press r on your keyboard just to test them out see how this works and of course you can see they have both the peel heel and also the ankle you know stuff working perfectly fine so if you like to roll the feet you can also choose to do that and you literally notice that every single part of your model has been completely rigged all right so let's jump out of the pose mode and take a look at some other things so once we go over to you know the object menu or the object section there's a couple of other things that we can look at if you would like to age your character you can choose to push this all the way up within the aging and you can start aging the character and you notice that it just depreciates a little bit with some extra you know belly fats and all that stuff if you would like to reset your character back you can choose to do that so your aging your body tone you know your body mass you can literally make all of these changes right here so this is you know totally dependent on what you want if you like to get a muscular character you can get this one going if you want to make it skinnier then of course you can dial this all the way down but then if you would like to play with the character library set that exists with this and you don't want to just fiddle around what you have here 
you can click on the character library. You can select from the different kinds of character types that you have. So let's say the phenotype you want to work with is an Afro-Caucasian. You can, you know, use this or you can simply select from the list or you can go from here and also select from the body type that you're looking for. So if that body type doesn't fit your need, you can choose from a long list of body types that are existing right here. And these might come in extremely handy depending on what you want to get. Now, at any point in time, you're not comfortable with any of these. You can just simply click on reset character and this would reset your character to what it was from the very beginning. Now, with this out of the way, let's also take a look at some other cool stuff. You could also go ahead and randomize your character if you want to randomize them. You can measure your character if you want to measure them. You can also play with the skin editor if you would like to get this. This one looks good and it makes more sense to actually stay within, you know, cycles and see how this one update. So right here in cycles, what we have is our character and I think we kind of, you know, just messed around with it a bit. So right here we have the character. Let's zoom right close to the eye. Okay. So if you're not comfortable with the eye that we have right here, you can literally start playing with the you know the eye hue and you can change the hue of the eye by the way we're having that camera clipping and this is not something that we like anytime you have camera clippings like this what you need to do is go over to your view section go over to where you have your clip and you can set this to 0.01 okay so right now we're not going to get that camera clipping anymore so you can set that to that and that's for your clothes and if you want to have like a wider range you can also set this one as an extra so with this here if we go back to the lab you can also choose to play with the iris so if you would like to play with the iris, you want to get some, you know, changes, you can choose to do that. If you also like to play with some other, you know, shading stuff, you can also do those. Now, once you're done with any of these things you want to do, you can go ahead and update the displacement. And this will go in and update the displacement for all of the texture changes that you've made. Now, this is for your skin editing. Now, once you're done making your skin editing, or you know, you're done with this particular stuff you want to do, you can go through and hit on the final line tool now once you click on finalize it will require you to enter a prefix and that prefix is what you're going to save your character with so for this one i'm going to simply type the word male and leave it the way it is click on finalize with texture and backup and this is going to open up a file now once that file opens just simply click on finalize and backup and this will take a while as it's going to go through and save up all of the changes all of the parameters and every single thing that you want now the reason why we're doing this is you can literally move from what you have here and start creating your animations, start creating your stuff. But I would like to show you guys how you can work with the face rigging setup that also exists right here. So that is the main reason why we're doing this particular session of the video. So with this done, you would notice that you now have some extra set of tools right here. These tools were not available earlier, but you can now notice that we have them and they're called after creation tools. So after you're done with this, you now have these ones so what we can do from here let's jump back to something that is way faster cool so what we can do from here is to click on the face rig now once you click on the face rig it pops this out and you notice that it says create face rig and also delete face rig so i'm going to click on create face rig and this is going to go ahead and create face rig for us now with this face rig you can literally just jump in and start animating your character's face. I mean, it's as easy as that as you can select any part, press R on your keyboard, and you can see right there, you've already started getting that facial animation happening. So you don't necessarily need to spend, you know, tons and tons of hours trying to create those blend shapes, all of that stuff, or, you know, all of those shape keys, you don't need to do that. You can literally use this one and get up and running so you can use this as the base and maybe go in there sculpt whatever you want and in this way you already have a very clean looking character that you can throw into your scene if you would like to add some extra assets you know hair stuff like that yep you can so you can go over to the assets section if you have assets you can throw in those assets from there and if you would like to work with the hair you can select from the long list of types of hair that exist here and you can use them so for example let's say i'm looking for the dark brown and i want to generate some hair particles i can just simply select the object click on particle hair and this is going to go ahead and create the particle hair for us so it's now totally left for you to go in and start tweaking these to your heart contents so if you'd like to go in there and start tweaking this maybe you want to use the particle you know editor to start changing and making changes to this yep you can you can just switch over to that select the brush and start combing this 
to whatever you want all of the changes that you might want to make of course you can go in here and start making those changes as you want so this is just an amazing tool that would get you from zero to something really reasonable within the shortest possible time so let's say you're done with what you want let's go ahead and test this out in you know cycles and see what we have this is a very very not nice looking hair so let's go in there and see what we have so this looks cool so you can literally start you know tweaking your hair and also start making a couple of changes and this is in case you want to rapidly create things and you don't want to spend so much time within the creation process if you like to work with the pose and animation settings you have that right here within this section is where you have your utilities and you can literally go in there and start playing with the utilities that exist for your particular character and so this is definitely going to be about it if you would like to try out this tool for yourself there's going to be a link in the description where you can check it out and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with the tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace